I think that's meant to be the pink ones. That one looks sort of pinkish. Lovely, the autumn colour of the trees. Very nice. Holly, is it? What's this then? Pretty. Lovely. Ooh, spider hair then. These carrots, these are these black carrots. There they are. Let's look at them. Black car carrots. They're actually quite nice. Although I think they're purple when inside, but I've never seen anything like that before. And there they are with some beetroot. There's the beetroot and there's the purple or black carrots. Carrots. Lovely sky. Isn't that nice? That is lovely. See how it blanks out when we go to the tree? And you go to the sky and you get the colour come back because the camera adjusts, its, adjusts itself. Lovely. Still don't like this time of year though with the cold weather approaching. Oh. They look nice with the light behind. Very nice. Brought Mimi and Sonia down to my friend's house. They look quite good. Oh, I've got it on the right setting now. I have done it. It's very dark. Hey! I'm high candle. Oh! It's so cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's one of my, one of my glade scented candles. Yay! doesn't need it with this but that goes well with that skirt and Lorna here's got her shoes on have a sort of beach outfit really she looks very nice we've had another change of outfit so I've taken these things off Jenna here and given them to Rainbow to wear they look awful on her and they're too big but at least they cover her up which this didn't so until I can find her a skirt to wear, she can wear those. And she's got these big feet, so. And uh, Jenna's got this nice outfit now, and she can wear this little short one sometimes. She doesn't need those th leggings on with this. So that's another dolly sorted out with something nice to wear. The trouble is she has got these shoes rather than high heels, but I might be able to get her. See, the brat shoes won't stay on her. She looks nice in this, though. It's well. Some decorations already. Good Lord. Yes, look at her. 
new dress on Lorna, but I don't think I should give it to her because it looks a bit big. Looks all right on her though. It's not too bad. We'll try it on other possibilities first. Well, what about it on Natalia? No, I don't think so. Well, actually, that looks quite nice on Sonia. It matches her shoes. Oh, actually, yes, that now oh, that does look nice as a summer possibility. She hasn't got anything really summery, I don't think. Oh, that does look nice on Sonia, so maybe she'll have to have this. I don't know. I did have Sahara in mind, though. But um, maybe more orangey-red. No, this suits Sonia. That looks rather nice. And she should have an extensive wardrobe where she's a top model. Oh, here it is on Sahara. And no, I d and I had a hell of a job to get it on her because of her bendy, rubbery legs. So, no, Sonia can have this. She needs more brighter, brighter colours. This one does. Yeah. Sonia looks all right in this as well. So, Jack and the T-shirt looks nice on her. So she can have that, and she can have this dress as well. So yeah, that does look nice. No, Sonia can have this skirt. It's making it look orangey, but it's actually a dark scarlet. But the camera's seeing it as orangey here for some reason. So it would have suited Sahara. I wouldn't have got it on over her rubbery legs. But yeah, it's a, it looks it's a bluish dark red, but the camera's making it look orangey. I don't understand. Well, I spent just on a different. It's an auto, automatic setting. I'll change it. Hang on a moment. Nothing, not, no setting really shows that this, this is a bluish red and it's coming out. Maybe when it's finished, the video's finished, it will show the right colour, but she got a bag of looked as well. There was a necklace, but I've given that to... Uh, I have given it to Undine, but it doesn't want to stay on her for some reason. There we go. Because I think she needs something. So there, she can have that. No, I don't think this works. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh. Anyway, there's Sonia sailing by in the background. Taking about an hour and a half to sort these dolls out again. I don't think that goes with this dress, not that necklace. I don't even know if I... Oh, I'm not sure now. It looks a bit short on her. No, I mean, I suppose it's okay. The colour matches the colour of her hair. So this is that pleather type. And it's, it's difficult to get it over their hands, but this is what Mattel thinks she should be wearing it with, this dress. <laughs> Actually, I think, yeah, that does look all right with this. So, yes, that looks very nice, Sonia. Very nice. That is nice. So, Sonia got another outfit to wear. I think she has more clothes than anybody, but then I suppose she ought to have being a top model. That's something <laughs> stuck in the back of her head is, though, I don't know. She does look nice, and yeah, that no, that does work. It does look nice when you put the ensemble together. Oh, there's a shadow. Very smart. Very nice, Sonia. She says, I know. I know. Now, there's a necklace that came with this set, but I honestly, I don't think that does go with it, really. It's sort of, I don't know, it just sort of clashes somehow. And, of course, this bracelet doesn't go with it. Oh, but, I, I don't know, it looks okay. And the shoes match, so... But, um, I might leave it on her for now. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I think that looks like, no, maybe the necklace does sort of show up a bit too much on this, but it, she does look very nice. Oh yes, poor Undine has lost her necklace. But then Sonia, who has a, an expansive and ever-growing wardrobe, of course does need it, being a top model and all. But uh, Cecilia there. Where does that happen? Do we still light up? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, she does. Goody. Well, Sonia can't do that, but... 
Oh, Lena here needs um, something else to wear soon. So, Dolly's sorted out now. Uh -huh. Okay, Mondi, there's Vanity, our Mimi, Grace, Carly's. Uh, hey. Right. Nice to see the dollies. There's Delia. Ah. Natalia in her swimming costume. face on this little Millie, Millie doll. So, uh, hmm, well that's a nice lot of new dollies. I'm disappointed with this one. Her face is very pretty. She looks like my Kyung Min, but my Kyung Min doll, but I didn't know her hair was like this. I thought it was this length all round, but it's short round that side. It looks ridiculous. I really don't like it. And um, she had this other outfit which I should use for someone else, and I should take those shoes off and give them to Tanis. And um, this romper was with this one. Now, she's very pretty. Well, this one's pretty, but I just don't like that hairstyle. It detra detracts from her. Let me just put on the macro setting, if I can. If it, it it's, doesn't switch itself off. Hang on. She's got a pretty little face, but that ridiculous hair, especially the way it sticks out at the side like that, I don't like this top she's got on. I like it from the front, but that ridiculous bit at the back, that, that ridiculous long bit at the back, it just looks so wrong. I think it's ridiculous. I just don't like it at all. She's got a hat, which sort of suits her. And um, this one, she's so pretty. And um, that choker was on this one but I've given it to this one because this one I should just put away now and take those shoes off and give them to someone else and she can have some of those awful high top similar to that the ones that Tanith had now I'm going to leave this one's hair up because um, I think it's quite short and I won't be able to get it back how it was I know I've seen that face before but she's pretty and she came with this romper which I'll probably leave her in the outfit she's got on I'm pleased that she's got high heels I'm trying to rush to get it all said before the camera switches or tells me the batteries have gone. Sunglasses. Now th these are for this one and they actually suit her once they're on. If they want, oh, if I can get them on evenly. They look quite nice on her. Yeah, see? And this nice beach bag was with this one. This one, I think she's got the goddess face. Um, I'm going to let her hair down. She's got the flocked, at least it's flocked, it's not painted on, like my Chene uh, Ch Chantal doll. I love her boots, don't like the dress, I don't know, I would do if it wasn't for that stupid frill. This one, I think she's got a lovely face and I love her hair. I'm not actually that keen on her dress, I don't, I've seen this so many times with the rose and the 1959, the world tour, whatever that is. Sunglasses are attached to her hand. I've seen these boots so many times. They're like my doll Brittany. I mean, yeah, Brittany's got those. This one, she's got that pretty little face that I like. I think it's the Millie face. Her hair is not like it's actually shown on the picture. Her hair is just on one side. And um, in the picture, it shows her with it, like, round the side. Both. Anyhow, do come up with that. This one, I don't recall seeing before. She's got a nice face. I like her earrings. don't like the shoes. The dress is all right, but I'm not keen on camo patterns. But uh, I do like her earrings and I like her face. She's quite unique because I haven't got another one like this. So yeah, a little haul of lovely, lovely, lovely fashionistas. Oh, this one's hair so lovely. But look at the yellow in it. Yeah, she's so pretty. I've had to use my trusty pliers to get those irritating little plastic tags out of the back of their heads. Why Mattel stick those in, I don't know. If they're serving a purpose, like to keep something... Oh, 
as I was saying before the camera stopped recording because it had run out, um, if anyone knows these, my pliers I had to use to get these irritating little plastic tags out of the, do the back of the doll's heads because they had loads of them. If anyone knows why they've got them, please tell me. It wasn't to hold anything in place. If it's to hold something in place, like a hat or sunglasses or decorations, or even to hold them in place in the box, I could understand it, but they're just in there for nothing. Most of this one didn't have any, and neither did she. But she she did. She did. All the long-haired ones had tags stuck, some two, at least two, in the backs of their heads. No reason for it. And um, look how many I've got out. Look how many there are here. Each doll had at least two in the backs of their heads. What are they for? Why are they there? This one's so pretty. She looks rather stricken. This one's nice. Well, they're all nice. I just don't like that one's hairstyle, and I don't like that stupid flap at the back of it. If it was shorter the same all the way round. Uh, it, yeah, it's okay, but I'm not keen on the sporty theme. I like this one's outfit. I think that's nice, her skirt. It's different, slightly... Yeah, I like what they've done with this. It, it looks nice. And I like this one's dress. That's pretty. And uh, that one's okay. It's a pretty dress. I'm just not keen on camo patterns. This is nice. I like that skirt. It's going to catch in everything, though. If you've got a rough now... So that was with hers, so that's the top that went with it, with that skirt. But I might give that to my Alvira doll when I can find her. So yeah, so pretty. Lovely dollies. Look at that face. She's pretty. She looks prettier than she does in, on the actual illustration that they show for her. She's lovely. Now those are the glasses that she was carrying on her hand, but they don't suit her. I think these orange ones, I mean the gold coloured ones, let's try the gold ones on her that might match her yellow hair. Maybe they look, oh, no I'm not sure, they make them look like bugs. The gold ones were part of this one's ensemble and I suppose they don't look too bad on her. So I suppose she can keep those as a, yeah, oh. yeah they're not too bad. Lovely, lovely, lovely dollies. Pretty. It's a shame about the hair. Oh. Sonia can have these sunglasses. But when she doesn't want to be recognised. Who wouldn't recognise our Sonia? Our fashion model. And she looks so nice. She looks really cool with these sunglasses on. Well, these shoes fit Lorelei here got a security tag on still so maybe she could have these oh yes I might try them on Tarnia to see oh Tarnia can have these as an alternative because they look good on her so yeah so she can benefit from these this one's loss is Tarnia's gain as is so often the case in life as in everywhere else so new dollies Amongst the others, amongst the old dollies, the new dollies. And I found a bathing set that I didn't know I had. I think it's the, sa it's the same as one that. Inez or Tanith has got, and um, Inez I think had one like this, and I've given it to this girl because that looks nice on her. Very nice. Yeah, Inez had one like because she got one exactly the same. And this one's not named yet. This girl. this dress on Marlena and I've given her these shoes but um, I think it's made to fit the old style Barbies because it's a rather big on her on top and I just tried it on there she is, oh I've put her back have I? I tried it on Sparkle Beach 
there or here and it fitted her quite nice and the shoes fit her certainly and they look nice on her and that came with this dress even though I don't think it suits it. So she can have that because this is rather old fashioned looking I think anyway. So yes, this is fits, what did I call her, Faith? or did I, I can't remember what I'd named this one, if I did. But yeah, it fits her better. And um, she's got her wrap to go with it. The camera's battery's going as usual, so... Yeah, so this quite suits her quite well, I think. So, um... Well, that's quite nice. Very nice to get the dolly sorted out with something new. Right, there's Marlena sorted out in something nice. That really looks good on her. So that's her sorted out. This necklace for Lorna here. Can I make her see it even? I can't turn the camera off because it, has its, it won't switch on again because the batteries are going. So yeah, these shoes might work, but they don't really go on anyone because that stupid little strap it did go on Lorna, but then they're like falling off her. This looks far better on this girl than what she was wearing. That rock chick t-shirt, which I didn't like at all, so I've made her look more glam. That's me. I just prefer glam looking to rock chick, and uh, which looks a bit... Yeah, it doesn't appeal. But I, I do like this. I don't know if the necklace actually goes with her, because she's got that gold going on. Tanith here has now got this outfit on. I can't put the macro setting on to zoom in properly because it has switched itself off. Oh yeah, that looks nice on her. This one's sorted out with this. She's lost her wrap. I've shown her already, haven't I? And look at our Tania here. Just, wow. Get her necklace round the right way. Come on, girl. Necklace. Oh necklace round the right way. Dear. I know this is a brat's necklace, but I thought it suited her. But um, this is a nice as asymmetrical dress. And yeah, it looks nice on our tarn. It does suit her style. So, another nice lot of outfits sorted out for the dolly dolls. See, amazingly, this does fit her fits quite well. Seems to be it does oh, does up perfectly well at the back. So and I don't think they had curvies when this came out maybe, I don't know, but it does look nice on Tanya. So she can have this. Uh, very nice. Very nice. And um, it fits nice in her one. That came as an outfit together, though I don't understand why that covers up that black band that goes round her. But, so that's two dollies sorted out as well. I was going to give this dress to Morgana, but it looks so nice on uh, Tanya, so she can have it. Yes, yeah, she can have it. And we have a new outfit for Undine. That looks quite nice on her, so she can have this one. So Natalia in her swimming costume looks quite good on her. Fits her well. well it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow apparently. So I think it's the 6th or 7th of October. Yeah. Very nice girl. Yeah, not nice.
well here's that dress on a regular size Barbie on Rakayla here. I was going to give it to Morgana, who is exactly the same size, but um, yeah, it's too loose. It it's more flattering on Tania, so she can have it. But Rakayla looks nice in anything usually, but and she does look nice in it. But she's a swimsuit girl, so and it's you can't take her swimsuit off. It's painted on. But her twin, Morgana, um, or Raquel, I've got, yeah, she is another Raquel doll, and um, she's exactly the same size, so this is what it would look like, and it, it looks better on Tanya, as we've seen. Looks nice on her, this one, though, but better on Tanya. There we are, as I said, looks better on Tanya it fits her better how it's meant to. These dresses aren't meant to be all loose. Ah, so that's nice. Time I went to bed, I think. Ooh. Well, a funny little somebody sitting on dish. Always sitting on the dish, aren't you? Little funny little cat. So pretty. Such a pretty little personage. Yes, it's so cold out there. It's cold tonight, isn't it, for a tiny push? Yes, it is. <laughs> this fits Tanya better than it does um, regular Barbie, like um, Candice there. But I don't think I'll give it to her because she's already got a silver dress. So I think Elvira can have this, her cousin or whatever you'd like to say. So it looks nice on her, though. But no, I shall give it to Elvira. Fits her better than it does Candice. It looks too loose on Candice. Oh, she was the one I intended it for originally. See, it looks too loose on her in the front. It just doesn't look right somehow. So instead of looking nice, it looks sort of frumpy. But um, the, she was the one I intended it for. But no, I don't, I don't have this. She's got her uh, this silver one, which looks better on her. I've just tried this on Marlise now. It doesn't look too bad on her because she's got her hip sticking out. But um, so it's I don't know though. It's, it doesn't sort of hang right in the front, but it looks better on her than it did on Candice, who was the one I intended it for. But I don't know if I will leave it on her for. But I thought I'd give it to Morgana, but we'll see. I know I can find her. Well, here it is on Morgana, but it does look too big for her. It doesn't look right. It just hangs... Yeah, it doesn't look right. Which is a shame, because I wanted her to have it, but never mind. Yeah, it doesn't very look very good on um, Undine, either. So it's a shame it didn't really suit anyone that much. It doesn't... It hangs rather than being flattering to them. It's all right on top. But, yeah... It looks like it's all bunched up together in front, and it's too big for the the effect it's intended to give. It only looks good on the curvy girls. Oh, so, um, Carlis looks quite good in this top thing. Is it a gillet, gillet? I don't know what they call it. Uh, I don't know what they call that. Not a shrug, is it? It's too... But I thought she needed to look warm, so... Well, I've given Precious this skirt, but I, I don't really think it suits her. Uh, well, uh, I'll def until I can find her another one. A better on video girl here? It doesn't go with her shoes, does it? Well, here's Morgana in Tania's dress, and it does look quite nice on her. I did this. She was the one I was going to give it to. But as I've seen it on Tania, and it looks so nice on Tania, she can have it. It looks nice on this one as well, though. I'll get her something else to wear. Yes, oh, don't worry. Mm. Mm. Perfect geometric shape, chaos theory, nature.
Just that got their hand on. Oh, Quintessa's face. Oh, it's Ina. It's Ina. <laughs> and whose hair is that? That's a uh, raven. And there's love. And Ina. All these girls. And Maisie Moo, so cute. And there's the Shopkins. There's the back of the box. Oh yeah, there's the bracelet. <laughs> there's the Shopkins. Oh, that's best if I do it with the camera rather than the webcam because it's just a blur, isn't it? So washed out shades of grey, especially this time of year. It's meant to be 25 degrees on Wednesday, where I'll be to Monday today. But look how sweet is me and milk. Lovely. Look pretty.